when you look at the mission of the school, when it was set up in 1935, the mission was to attract and develop exceptional boys and turn them into young men who would serve a free India, or now we say a meritocratic India. Now with a, with a goal that lofty, you're, you have high expectations of what your boys are going to achieve. So I think keeping a record of the boys who we get into the school is a very important thing. Um, which, uh, which is why we have uh, you know, a full-time archivist, why we have an archive in the library that people can come back to in the future uh, and look at the path that those people took as they came through the school and then carried on into their lives, shaping the country. So I think when, when you look at the way education has been sold, uh, sorry, technology has been sold to education around the world, there's a lot, there's good, bad and ugly. Yeah? Uh, what you look for in technology is something that's going to make learning more efficient, uh, more enjoyable, increase the access to information that you can then uh, analyse, evaluate, synthesise to create something new. Um, and I think that technology has that capacity in the classroom, but we have to be careful as schools how we're going to use it. Um, and where we're going to spend money, because of course technology is an expensive thing. After, staff, after staffing, it's the most expensive thing a school can probably buy. And when, when you're looking for someone to work with, I think as well as the quality of their product, it's important to look at how they're going to work with you. So it's more important to get people who can understand your school, understand your needs, and understand the feedback that you're going to give them and respond to it quickly in a way that is easy to communicate. Um, so you can have a, a, fun, a wonderful product, but if the people you're working with are not responsive, articulate and engaged in what you're trying to do, it doesn't matter. So we look for people we can work with together.